ตอนนี้เราเชียร์เดียร์ต่อต้นจีนเดี๋ยวเราขอสุดโจนะนู่นเราเยี่ยนยูว่าสาวกังกาวโดนชาเป็นนะเราจะไปเกี่ยงยู
She pulled a chair and helped Grandmother Joy to sit down beside her. As they gathered around the table, she didn't know what dish was which, and Landon must have noticed because he took a spoonful of what looked like beef and put it on her plate. He explained. She smiled and thanked him as she took a bite of each food. It was good. And she smiled at him and everyone at the table as they ate while talking about the long ride home. It was a very welcoming moment for my pa. The next morning, my pa woke to the gentle kiss of Landon's lips against her cheek, and she opened her eyes to look at him. He was dressed in a black suit and smiling down at her. She sat up and he handed her a plastic card. She looked at it and then he put it into her hand. Nayarachina, she asked as she raked her fingers through her hair. He pointed to the card in her hand. She looked at it and then smiled. Oh, he nodded. Landon smiled and touched her cheek. He bent over and caught her lips by surprise, and then he smiled and left her. My boss stared at the credit card in her hand and laughed. Shopping was a chore. My pa found shopping was a chore. My pa found as she went from store to store looking for clothes. This was not in her agenda as fun. Grandmother and Joe was laughing at her frustration as they bought some drinks and snacks to rest after shopping for a few hours. My pa said as she took a sip of a drink. Landon was hanging up the phone when Jason came barging through the door with a huge grin on his face. He was wearing his regular jeans and black t-shirt that woman sooned over. Hey, not the good dollar. I'm not sure, okay, he said. Before Landon could respond, Mia walked in with his grandmother and his wife. As Mia closed the door and walked out, Landon stood up to catch Jason, staring at his wife who was dressed in a short black skirt and a red top. Her hair was down and she looked like a breath of fresh air. Landon came around the desk and he came to give his grandmother a kiss on the cheek. And then, without waiting for my pa to approve, he took her into his arms and kissed her lips. And though he felt her struggle, he kept his arm around her and she couldn't move. When he pulled away, he saw the shock on Jason's face as he smiled. Jason, the na yiku de my pa. Sweetie, the na yiku de you, Jason. My pa nodded at him. Nya zhong Jason smiled and beamed widely. Nya zhong. His grandmother turned him and smiled. His grandmother smiled. Jason, she ordered. She walked out and Jason could only follow while Landon smiled at his grandmother's tactics. Once they were alone, he turned and looked at his wife. He asked. She shrugged. Laughing, Landon replied, <laughs> She shook her head. He came to her and held her and then kissed the top of her head. She thought a moment and then she asked, Landon didn't expect to see the number of cars lined up outside their house as he parked and got out. He could hear chattering, and it didn't occur to him to warn my pa about this sudden gathering. He walked in, and relatives were smiling and running to congratulate him. Although he smiled, his eyes were scanning the room looking for his wife. She was nowhere to be found. He saw his grandmother talking to an aunt of his, 
and was rushing over to talk to her when out of the corner of his eyes he saw her coming down the stairs wearing a long green dress and her hair up in a bun. When her eyes caught his, she smiled and she rushed down to meet him. He bent down and kissed her cheek, her fragrance engulfing him. Patsy, go to Sade Jolino, he said. She smiled. Chia, shut the toy, Jay Telisha. La, la kai kushe lanthi halanthi. The house was filled with laughter, fun, and food. Landon kept his eye on his wife throughout to make sure that she was okay, but my boss seemed to be holding her ground quite well. That was until Go Sheng arrived with her mother. Go Sheng's mother was Landon's mom's cousin, and she had high hopes of having Landon marry Go Sheng. But Landon couldn't stand the woman. She was loud, obnoxious, and severely overrated. Although Jason was head over heels in love with her, Landon found her to be rude. She arrived wearing a black dress and heels that had rhinestones. She looked as if she was heading to a gala instead of a house gathering. Her mother, Ma, wasn't any better. Her father died when she was young, and the mother-daughter duo was toxic to anyone they met. His grandmother perked and looked up as the two entered. Nia, Ma said as she came to stand by his grandmother. His grandmother stood from where she sat and came to stand before her. And then she turned to Landon. Landon smiled and walked to the kitchen where my pa was filling drinks. He took her arm and pulled her aside. He better warn her first. Sweetie, My pa smiled. He smiled and took her hand. As they walked out, he noticed Ngo Sheng's face paled at the sight of his wife. My pa smiled. Ngo Sheng smirked. Before Landon could reply, my pa answered, Oh, la, she only got the pupu, ye, cuckoo cake, good, the shake, and a little lamp, too. Take a little lamp, a hand, only can all. Kumarika land in Yakumukoma. Oh, yeah, his sweetie was going to be just fine. My pa was putting away the last dishes when she heard the sound of heels clacking against the wooden floor. As she turned around, Gosheng entered with a plate in her hands. She handed it to my pa. Na, Zokolutia. When my pa didn't take it, she continued. Before she could answer, Landon rounded the corner and took my pa into his arms. He kissed her lips and then said to her, Go Sheng's face broke into horror. Wow, Landon! He turned to her and gave her a dark glare. She watched as Ngo Sheng's face broke into embarrassment. Ngo Sheng lowered her gaze and then walked out. She heard her bid goodbye to his grandmother and saw out of the corner of his eyes both the duel leave. Hopefully, it was for good, and that would be the last they would ever see of them. He guided his wife's elbow and took her upstairs, while his grandparents continued to extend their well wishes to guests that were leaving. Once in the quiet of their room, he caught sight of my pa's broken face. He pulled her into his arms and held her. This must have come as a shock to her, to return home to find so many strangers in the house, and then someone like Gosheng who was rude and jealous. He felt her hand slowly come to wrap around his waist. Gutatsia, he whispered. He pulled back and smiled at her. She laughed. <laughs> Landon laughed. Wow, sweetie. 
你都把年龄能够生，管起来不过过长班了，不会少哦。不对嘛，这个的你啊，不早哎，个老大过是呢。My pa asked. Glenda's smile faded, and he bent down closer to her. He tilted her chin to look up at her, and noticed that her brown eyes had a fleck of gold when the lights danced across them. She smiled and ran his thumb over her bottom lips. "Ay, ako to niya lang eh, wakie ko na," he asked. She didn't answer. He smiled at her. "Ko la cha da she ko yate ni kaya ko sa ko niya lo tu ko yin niya lo ma." "Does she have some question?" "No, sweetie." She told Chinulia, "Ya ta la, sa to niya la, tu chie to niya li la ne." "Chie to niya li kana?" she asked. She told me I know, and then he bent down and kissed her gently on the lips, pulling her closer until they were one. Which told me I too don't know. Do you got the answer? Yali, get the good answer, ma. Some more don't do lana, sweetie. Go sa thau thau do get the ka, ka po ka. She sighed deeply against him, and then she nodded. His hands came to rest upon her waist, and then he pulled far away enough to look into her face. Mà nó kia là cuối lần, kia là cuối cắt sầu. Anh tôi chỉ cả, tôi chỉ cho cả. Kia cụ kỳ cả lúc xưa, lúc kia, lại tận gai. Sau giờ, mà bố được cuối lần. The morning sun rose, and my pa turned over, feeling the empty space beside her. Landon had already gotten up and left for work. He left her a very sweet note reminding her to join him for lunch. She showered and chose one of the navy dresses she bought yesterday to wear. As she came down the stairs, the house was empty, and she went to the kitchen to begin cooking. A few moments later, she heard Grandmother Joe's voice asking for her. She came around the corner with an apron on, and the older woman smiled. "Minya, go on, China." My pa smiled and gave her a hug. "Pa, do you have goya la wo chai na sa?" "Eh, go chi pa wo de shi yeo nian na la chi eh go pa ga kai guo ya." "Hou yo, go yeo ge zuo ye mo si ge nei na tan tao liao." "Yu chi gai na chi liao, ye gai jian che zhu ye gai pa cha ge sa." "Go wo dou li jia ge yu wo dou lao yi na si ma na." After breakfast, Grandmother Joa called a taxi to take her to where Landon worked. When she arrived, she forgot how to get to his office. As she pulled out the cell phone to call Landon, she heard someone call her name. She turned around to find Jason walking toward her with a smile on his face. She remembered he was Landon's friend. She returned the smile as he reached her. "Got the shy Landon, lah?" he asked. "Uh, yeah. The shy guy who's got the guy who's moving away. The little one, lah, hona." Jason smiled. "Lah." She allowed him to take her elbow, and the two of them walked together into the building. He was talking about a new bar that had just opened up, and his chattering was half in Hmong and half in English. She only caught about every third word as they rolled the elevator up. When the doors opened, she followed them to a double French door and knocked. Soon enough, it opened, and Mia, the young lady at the front desk, showed them in, and they followed her to an office with glass doors where Landon was sitting, looking over documents. He looked up and smiled at them. Landon, my pa said, "Jong ka gun jin Jason ah, gu jin jiao hai dia gan yao long tin la na." Jason stuffed his hands in his pockets. Tao, sao oi nan zin la na? Jia yao lu tu ge chi yao gu ge ka gua. Landon smiled. Oi jo, yao li yao li. He stood up and opened his arms. Jason came and hugged him. Oi chi yao gan na, lu yao ke lu tu lu sa. Jason laughed and made a face. Ah, ai gu tu yao ge lu tian sha la. My pa laughed as she came to hug Landon. Jason, what you are getting pa kiti or na? Can not say to her dear, go say to your gay gear. Jason smiled and put his hands together. La, I'm not sure gay ya. Go my little. Landon laughed. Ah, you got the idea, Mister dear. My pa woke to the sound of Landon sleeping soundly beside her. She was thirsty. And got up to go downstairs for a cup of water when she saw Grandmother Joa sitting, drinking a cup of tea. 
she asked. Nya got you to draw. The Yakula caught a saw. Eoya got you boot. Grandma Nunjua smiled and patted the chair beside her. She poured a cup of tea for my pa. Nunikana gave pink shock a tiribuchi dollar, sir. Eka Hali got Saligana. Grandma Nunjua's eyes lit up with emotions. Unde Kala Yoko to me do land in. Nipuma Numbo Shore paid some more. My pa suddenly remembered the night in the hotel in Lopamba. Grandmother and Joa continued. Tope kia tora tai te. Landon si to toa. Nu cha mai mai ta shi nu pa nu ti sa shi tun ta ya zong chai shap lan da nu lu ka mua. Nu nia la tua run da ha de. Tope in tia to Landon. Nu nia tu lu lu tu a o la. Grandmother and Joa wiped her eyes. Tong da gu tu mi tu Landon cha mai mai. Nu tu chi pa la chi. Nu tu chi pa la te nu nia tua nu ping chang zong nu nia. Si li tong da la ke nu pu nu ping po shu pe. Nu yeo u. My pa felt her tears come down her face. Grandmother Joe reached over and held her hand. Walking up the stairs to Landon, she found him sleeping soundly. She lifted the covers and got in where she moved close to him and wrapped her arms around him. He had nightmares. Nightmares that haunted him and she didn't know. That first night when he was shivering and muttering, it had frightened her and whatever she did, he didn't wake up. It hadn't happened since. She caught his sleeping face and pushed herself up on one elbow to look at him. Landon. She said. And to her surprise, he opened his eyes and she gasped. She tried to move away, but he held her in place. Smiling, she touched his face. He kissed the tip of her nose. His eyes turned misty and he looked away. And then he turned around to face her. Then he kissed her and his voice broke. My pa nodded. She smiled.